So, uh, welcome to the Eclipse Local Music Show. Thank you so much for coming up on tonight, and I can't wait to hear your performances. So, is it Sad Cypress or Saddest uh, Cypress? Right, well, my actual uh, performing name is Sad Cypress, but um, that was already taken on a lot of social media so I had to come up with another name for social media. So if you're on Facebook, Twitter, I think YouTube as well, the URL is Saddest Cyprus. So yeah, if you're interested, definitely check out Saddest Cyprus on uh, Instagram. Is it Facebook as well? I've got a Facebook page now as well, yes. Oh, that's amazing. Uh, so you've got um, a couple of tracks now out on Spotify and um, we've also been talking as well. You've got a few new tracks in the pipeline, yeah? Yeah, so I released an album of older material. Um, so that's already available on Spotify and I've got it on Bandcamp. That's Magic Mountain. And at the moment, I've uh, been working on some new material, which I'm really, really excited about. Um, I've been uh, writing the music and the lyrics so I've just got to record it all now. Ah oh, amazing I can't wait to hear it to be honest. Um, are you going to be playing any of your new tracks at some point tonight? Um, yeah I've got three new tracks that I'm going to be playing. Um, they don't actually have names yet um, but I hope you like them. <laughs> oh amazing. It's always uh, good to come up with ideas, inspired ideas and stuff like that. What artists would you say uh, have inspired you to write these tracks? Oh, um, well, I I'm such a massive music fan. Um, like pretty much I, I can hear bits of all kinds of uh, different artists in the stuff that I write. I don't really write consciously thinking that I'm trying to sound like somebody but after I've written stuff I can hear oh that sounds a little bit like this person so people who come to mind um <clears throat> off the top of my head uh Grizzly Bear um Beach House Kate Bush um uh, <laughs> Nick Drake Elliot Smith um I yeah a lot of people <laughs> wow beach house that's quite an interesting because they've got a lot of um euphoric sounds and stuff to their tracks I'm I'm a bit of a big fan of beach house oh, as well really? surprisingly yeah. enough um I don't know if you heard of Green Man Festival they uh, oh I've been to Green Man a couple of times actually. oh amazing yeah they played there I think I can't remember if it was last year or the year before. Mm -hmm. They did play on the main stage they did. So that's oh, incredible. Great. Yeah. Great. Definitely can hear a lot of the inspirations as well. Um, I think another artist as well that uses quite a lot of emotional stuff is um, Tom York from Radiohead. Right. I am a big fan of Radiohead as well. Um, well, I listened to them. They were sort of one of the formative bands I listened to as a teenager and into my 20s. So... I'm sure that's like, that's a really deep, deep influence there. Yeah, absolutely. Because they blew up at around, i say, mid 90s to uh, mid 2000s. Yeah. That's, that was like their peak time yeah. with the Benz and uh, OK Computer and all that. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. And then it went a bit weird then with that. Uh, oh, well, I really love all of that stuff. I think Kid A and In Rainbows are my favourite of their albums. Oh, yeah, brilliant albums. They all got a bit of like a weird sound to them. Yeah. Um, going off into a bit of a tangent, but all inspired <laughs> ideas. <laughs> uh, one question I do ask a lot of artists that we do get up on the radio show is, as you know, COVID pandemic mm. has happened over the last previous years. Yeah. A lot of artists have had the privilege to have studio equipment at home and being able to write brand new singles and stuff right. during that period. Mm -hmm. Would you say, how would you say that's affected you as an artist? Well, actually, I had really got out of um, playing and perf like performing and writing music um, at that time anyway. So um, strangely, having that sort of period to myself is actually what got me back into playing music that was when I recorded music for the first time in years so um 
if I look, I, I wasn't thinking of it this way at the time, but if I look back, it actually seems that it helped to spur me on to get back into it. That's amazing, yeah. Because it was such a strange time, uh, lockdown, because, mm. um, you know, no one was going to work, everyone was in their house, so it gave people time to think and yeah you know question their lives and That's stuff so yeah. True. yeah it was quite um a strange period but it also gave people to think you know what they want to do yeah. with themselves and that yeah so i can imagine as you said about your music career it probably give you uh you know few uh Turned a few cogs or something in yeah, your head. Yeah, yeah, it did. Yeah, yeah that's, that's quite fascinating, that is. Um, a lot of artists I've spoken to as well, they've um, written loads of tracks during lockdown. And then as soon as all the grassroots uh, venues opened back up, they played all these new albums to mm. a new audience. So it was quite a big boom as soon as everything opened back back up um how would you say your music career progressed once the studios uh the venue started opening back up did you go straight into the open mic nights or well that's actually been sort of more of a personal challenge of getting over fears so i've just been doing that in my own time so i didn't go straight into it as soon as things were opening up in fact i've only really started playing live in the last month. Um, but I am very grateful that things are back up and that I can do this now. Absolutely, yeah. And another thing as well, you notice, you know, during lockdown, it makes you really appreciate these things. Like, mm. um, you know, as a person who goes to events like myself, um, I didn't really, I always used to kind of turn them off a bit. But when lockdown happened, you know, and then lockdown open back up i started going to see loads of local bands then so it makes you appreciate the small things cause, yeah i am really yeah. appreciating that the vibe on these nights out i think from what i can gather some people still haven't kind of realized that things are back open even after all of this time um so but it, but it is really lovely to to get out there and and feel that vibe again absolutely yeah and also go and chat to the artists after the gig as well make networking and stuff like that mm -hmm. that's the beauty about the creative yeah. industry yeah. um you know with lockdown it's still it's not like you can't really yeah. um replicate meeting someone in person it's just not the same if you if you meet them online. Yeah, it's it's like um it's like Zoom calls, isn't it? You know, you, even though you're interviewing an artist, you're still not beating that, you know, one to one interaction. Yeah, there's something about being in each other's presence. It's yeah. so much more satisfying. Yeah, it's like uh, being in the moment, it's like going to a concert, in a, you know it's like being in the moment yeah, and yeah. just being there with the crowd and stuff like that then yeah. which you probably witnessed from the open mic nights uh you know getting a bit of oh a yeah atmosphere off the crowd and stuff it's uh, it's an amazing feeling yeah, yeah i'm i'm really loving it yeah that's amazing uh what would you say is probably your best gig to date um it probably has been um the reaction from some of these open mic nights actually um yeah it, it's just it's just been really really friendly and and warm and um yeah i i did a talent show once when i was <laughs> a teenager and i'm i'm just comparing it to that because it was very competitive and unsupportive and in hindsight, I can see it really put me off playing um, because it made it, yeah, like a, a rivalry. Um, whereas these open mics, um, and, I, and I think a lot of the music industry generally, it's, it's just more, more about like the fun of it, the, the experience of it. Yeah, absolutely. Simon Cowell wasn't at that talent show, was he? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just messing. Um, but yeah, I know exactly what you mean about 
uh, talent shows. It's um, it's uh, I don't. Know, it's not you know you're not. It's it's just like who's the best and stuff like that. It's, but when you go to an open night night, you know you got people there, you know going for a pint, or you got you know local music goers such as myself, for an example, we're looking, you know, to find new artists to check out on Spotify and that. So you're going to, so you probably notice you get more support in that type of atmosphere, especially mm. in the open mic nights, because loads of artists go to them and they're always looking, you know, to network with all other artists. So it's definitely um, a community in Cardiff yeah. around these uh, venues. Yeah, it is. I can really feel that. Community is the word for it. Yeah, Absolutely. What would you say is your favourite venue right now in Cardiff? Um, I actually really like the moon. Um, yeah, obviously it's it's pretty small, but it it's got again quite a community sort of feeling about it. They put on all kinds of events, not just music. Um, yeah. Uh, I don't know. I, I've just got a sweet spot for it. <laughs> yeah, because um, I don't know if you heard about the story about the moon. Well, you're a bit older than me, but um, it used to be uh, three floors or something like that. But yeah. now it's just the basement. Yeah, I did actually go there once or twice while it was um, while it was different. Yeah. Yeah, it was like, um, I think the only way to describe it is um, it's like Club Eichel Bach because you've got yeah. three floors in there. But the moon is still a wicked venue. You know, you got a great team running it and you get loads of local bands. They even started doing um, uh, kitchen stuff now, doing like all uh, vegan options and yeah, stuff. Yeah. So if you're into alternative food, it's amazing. Mm. I know they started doing um, like roast dinners and like pizzas on Sundays and stuff now. It's, it's, it's incredible, it is. Yeah. And it's all an independent venue, so it's not commercially run, yeah. which is the best thing about it. Absolutely. So whenever they make a bit of money on the bar and stuff like that, uh, obviously it's a business, so it, they have to, you know, pay the bills and stuff. But all the support goes back into the local artists, which is absolutely amazing. Yeah. Uh, have you ever gigged in the moon by any chance? No, but that is really a, a goal of mine. That is quite a specific goal of mine. I would like to play at the moon. Oh, that would be amazing, I would. Um, if if I was about, I would definitely come on down to the moon oh, and see you perform. <laughs> <laughs> I'm always in there, to be honest with you. There's loads of great bands yeah. down that way. But yeah, the moon is great venue. Just a bit of a low ceiling, you know, when you're standing on the stage. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> I'll bear that in mind. <laughs> yeah. I've seen plenty of artists hit their head on the ceiling because <laughs> the stage is like a couple of metres above the ground and then the ceiling is like that and the artist's head is just like, just just touching the top of it, like the really tall artists. So there's a couple of times where they play guitar, they're just, ooh. <laughs> but... Absolutely uh, amazing venue, though. Um, uh, one thing as well. Have you played outside of Cardiff or like Bristol or anything like that? Or has it just been mainly Cardiff you've played? Well, y yeah, recently um, I've just been doing these open mics in Cardiff. Um, but when I was younger, I did play, um, yeah, in London a couple of times. And I think, I think I actually played in Exeter once as well, um, but that's about it. I, I yeah, I, I actually added it up um, yesterday how many times I've played live. I think I'd done maybe seven gigs, and then I've I've done three live performances in the last few weeks. So I'm I'm very quickly catching up. <laughs> Oh, amazing. So just getting back on the scene, really, building your rep, uh, reputation up and progress as an artist. Yeah, it's really um, where my focus is right now. That's amazing. And it's great as well that you've got quite an ambitious idea where you want to go and a bit of a roadmap, really, for yourself. Yeah, I do, actually. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I can imagine you've got like a to-do to to list. Um, you're not far <laughs> off. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, right, 
Next week, <laughs> attempt to play the O2 Arena. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe uh, not quite yet, but... Uh, give it some time. <laughs> give it a few, few time. Who knows, might bump into a high-ranking manager or something like that. <laughs> yeah, you never know. <laughs> but yeah, thank you so much for coming up on the radio. I appreciate, well, having a chat with you and stuff, and it's great to see you as well. Well, thank you so much for having me. It's been really great. Amazing. So, yeah, um, uh, do you want to quickly mention your Instagram and Facebook before we go into your performance? Yeah, sure. So, I'm Sad Cypress. Um, I'm on social media uh, with the username Saddest Cypress. You can find me on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, and I, I was going to say Twitter, but I guess it's X. Um, <laughs> and... Um, yeah, thank you, Dan. That's all right. <laughs> thank you so much, So, for coming up on the show. Definitely check out uh, Sophie and definitely stick around because we're going to go straight into her performance with her brand new tracks and some real old stuff. So stick around. All right. Uh, this is one of my new songs.
This is another new song. Living in the lines underneath, I suffered only grief in by the irony. Even so, the moon phases show the comfort of the old, a flower in the snow. Now go tell the wist I fumbled all the air You come in with a kiss and then you fill the air Now go tell the wist I fumbled all the air La -da 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 -da. La -da Blossoms in the snow, but when the time the day was breaking, I was on the edge of letting go. So this is a song from my album Magic Mountain, uh, and this is called To the Only One.
this is another older song which I haven't released, um, but it's called No Medea. <laughs> Father dear won't talk to me Norman gets right through I'll review when church our bells ring true I've got no friends I shot my family All I've got are rose glasses Bury me, I hear my prayer, I am foe to you. No Medea, boy, still jump for you. I've got no friends, I shot my family. All I've got are rose glasses. This is another new song. Stay with the feeling that I
This is Limonene, which is also on my album Magic Mountain. Steady hand and I are looking for a fight in the only way we know for sure. Rookie's got a shot Waiting right around the bend How I wish it was And so for sure But he's gone now Follow the line Into the light of hope Shiny slate, and pristine catch, fill in the blanks, got a perfect match. Five more weeks until I'm sure that this one's had its day. absolutely amazing track right by there so yeah um for those who are new to the show this is um eclipse local music where we play all local music upcoming from the valleys uh south wales and a bit of england as well bristol and also the midlands um so yeah we play all local music from various artists throughout south wales so if you go to cardiff a lot and you've heard of Places like Club by Hobach, The Moon, Club by Bont and all that. They have a lot of local bands uh, who are getting their foot in the industry and stuff like that. We play their tracks on a show and uh, we uh, show their tracks to new different audiences and stuff. And also as well, don't forget to check us out on Facebook and Instagram, Eclipse, Eclipse Local Music. Because we're always putting up... Um, stuff about events as well as promoted tracks on the radio and also as well putting our own events on at some point in the future. 